It's Sean and Sid. Hey, look at your new digs. Look at my digs, girl. It's awesome. It's been a pro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to need to upgrade my backdrop. <laughs> I still haven't hung a thing in this room. <laughs> I'll just do the fake ones on Zoom. That's what's fun. Yeah, I could. You know? Yeah. So, hi. Haven't hi. Seen each other. Hi, everybody. I know. It's been yeah. a while. Oh, what? Our sponsors and our clink. Okay. Let's put sponsors get and in. clink. And then I'll give you a little tour of the studio. It'll take a millisecond. <laughs> and then we'll get to catch up. It's been a hot minute. Just don't unplug anything. <laughs> you have I'm wires the everywhere. The dogs are going to trip over something and I'm doomed. Okay, our sponsors. First Light Home Care of Greater Columbus, Fairfield, and Licking Counties. North Star Family Dental, Avola Lanza Hair Studio, and Merle Norman. Look at you. you. Like a pro. I know. I didn't even have to look at my cheat sheet. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Okay. Clink time for everybody out there. Grab the beverage of your choice. That's how we play this game. And what are you doing today? I think you're a little judgy with my wine choices, so <laughs> I don't want to show you. Show me. Come on. But please. it's good. I love decoy. Why would you say I'm judgy? You just call me bougie. Oh. Yours is probably just as expensive. I did. Like I said, I'm like a one bottle a weeker. Okay. Okay. Well, okay. You got to get your muscles <laughs> built up then. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got unshackled. Yum. And it's usually more expensive. It was on sale. So I went that good route. Stuff. Yeah. So well, cheers. Clink. Yes. And you have decoy. Clink, clink, everybody. Believe it or not, I've managed to break all of my stemless glasses so now i'm very fancy <laughs> you broke all these little guys yes i need a whole new set yeah well mm -hmm. really not that expensive just so you know i know yeah. well all right give us the tour okay so um this is going to be obviously video and audio and um I'm going to be doing voiceover work and things like that and bring guests in so they can join us mm -hmm. too. So I'm very excited about that. So when I moved, I thought, you know what? I'm going to do it right and do it this way. And this is where we're awesome. at. So it's, I can kind of turn a little bit. Hang on. So over here, yes, we have. Oh, we can't hear you. Back. Okay, hang on. <laughs> It just looks like that looks really, really good. Thank you. <laughs> uh -huh. It looks like the inside of a studio is what it looks like. So anyway, wow. so this, this is the pad. And I like the white and the black. This is not, I'll be honest. It's not what I expected. What did you expect? You're, um, it, it was Steve, right? Who helped you? Steve. Great job. Yeah. I don't know what I expected, but it looks very professional. Really fooled you. And then I have a, a really pretty carpet under it all. So okay. pretty. All together. Yeah. That plant is gonna die down there in that dark dungeon. You're gonna have to get a fake one. That one's gonna cry. Do you have a, a oh. light for that? <laughs> I'll get a fake one. This is the fun part. Okay. So ready? I'm gonna show you some fun little tricks. Okay. Alexa, studio lights blue. Okay. Oh. <gasps> oh. Alexa. Studio lights pink. Okay. <gasps> Alexa, Can she do like, lights, like yeah. a disco, like flash? I'm start to do that. Alexa, <laughs> studio lights green. I must not have a green. <laughs> <laughs> Tell her to like, what, what would the word for that be? To Alexa, rotate? Alexa, studio lights rotate. She said, okay, but she's not doing it. Alexa, studio lights, sign. Party, Party Alexa, mode. Studio lights, cyan. Okay. What's that mean? It's a bluish shade. Oh, it's cyan. Not quite as blue as blue. You? You're an I avatar. Like I look like that. <laughs> you look like an avatar. <laughs> Alexa, studio lights, white. Okay. That's fun. Alexa studio lights white. Okay. Okay. So did you get that tablet just for this? Yeah. It's, oh, other, it does other things. Okay. <laughs> oh, 
my God. Actually, I have to be part of this game. You better get hired for some voiceovers. Stay off the studio. Alexa. Oh, I... <laughs> okay. Sorry if everybody's Alexa just went off 54,000 times. I'm really yeah. I'm really not. But anyway, so yeah, maybe we could start doing like guests and you you enter to win a contest and we meet like some of our listeners. Have them come in, <laughs> tell their stories and they can play. Fun, I love it. Tablet. I love it. <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll think about that. You'll lock them in your basement. Right. Welcome back, Sydney, to um, the U.S. of A. Ah, thank you. It's good to be back and have water. Tell everybody <laughs> where you were. I was actually in Portugal. She was in Portugal. I've never been to Europe, so don't call me bougie. This is a big deal for me. This is a very spontaneous trip. Yes. Um, absolutely loved it. Like have the travel bug and was shocked at how convenient and easy the whole trip was. It was great. Cheap as heck. I mean, seriously, we went to a market to buy wine while we were getting ready to go out to dinner. The most expensive bottle was five dollars. Five dollars, five euro. And then you go, we went out to dinner and, you know, asked what their recommended bottle was. And it was one of the more like expensive ones on the menu. 16 euro. It was amazing. Pack we pop, were right? Mama needs to live in Portugal. <laughs> Seriously, we felt like high rollers. I bet. Um, Uber is big there. So like everything was familiar and easy, beautiful. I mean, it's very, very hilly. Um, we did Lisbon and Porto uh-huh. and wow, like our legs were burning. Lisbon's crazy hilly. Porto was a little bit better, but Porto was probably my favorite. It was right on the water and gosh, it's nice. Like we have to back. travel more. No, you would go back. I would go back and I would do Porto. And then everybody was saying there's also like an island called, I think it's Madeira that mm-hmm. you can take a quick flight to out of um, Porto. Mm-hmm. Um or Lisbon, I I think. And they call it like the Hawaii of Europe. Did you feel safe? Totally. Okay. We were walking back from a bar in Lisbon. And I mean, it was pretty late. There was still a lot of people out, but that was one of our comments was like, it feels so safe. Oh, I so like that. Great. We just loved it. Airbnb. Ah, I could talk about it for hours. <laughs> you awesome. need to travel more. We got to get you out. Yeah. Well, I've been trying to concentrate on finding love, you know, before I go take all these elaborate trips. I'd like How's that going? (laughs) I want somebody to split it with me. (laughs) So, okay. So I went back on a dating app. I know I'm an idiot. So I decided, well, what's the one for people like my age? It's called our time, right? So so, it's our time. Hurry up. (laughs) I think it's called our time is almost over. You're right. So (laughs) I joined this thing and, oh, it's so bad out there. And, you know, and I don't want to base it on looks because it's not about that. Uh (laughs) No no different than what you would do or anybody would do, right? What do we have in common? Or am I attracted to you? Of course, that's part of it. So, um, but, and I'm getting like people liking me from like Ontario, (sighs) Oh, you can filter that. Ridiculous. Girl, you got to set your I don't think they have that many. Oh, I did set it by. Oh, they don't have that many clients. (laughs) That's what it is. I put my Uh demographics in there. Anyway, so um, so (laughs) I thought, okay, maybe this guy is going to be worth going out with. So we talked a bit and then he he was, we were trying to find a date. I couldn't do the first date that he had. And so we were supposed to meet, no joke, last Thursday. So, you know, I had texting or is is this all through messenger through messages on their site. Okay. And so we get further into it and close to the date. And I thought, you know, it's, it's almost Wednesday. I should probably reach out just see if we are going out Thursday. Um, So I reached out and his profile is gone. He's (laughs) He ghosted me. He's totally gone. Not even. He scared him off the app. <laughs> I'm like, what is the backstory here? Oh, now, no. You can just make up a story and go, I'm sorry, Thursday's not going to work out. All right. What's your reason? I think he's married. <laughs> I think there's more to the story, too. Or something. Or something. He, he got caught. <laughs> so, I'm like, how bad? What was his name? Brant. 
there's not many brands. I know. I, I did a Google deep dive and I couldn't find them. But yeah, yeah, but are you wondering if he was like a robot? I, so I'm wondering. And then yeah. I looked it up. How many of those are fake? And it said 15 to 20 percent of men on on those apps are bots or or fakes. That's too many. Isn't that awful? That apps. How, how do the apps like not me? do better? That's how I know. That's how they hook women like me in. Oh, I'm gonna find I'm going to Portugal. <laughs> I'm gonna find love. <laughs> me and Brandt are going to Portugal. Yeah. Yeah, I would have been sitting over at a pizza shop waiting for my robot boyfriend, Brandt. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be careful out there. You get catfished. It's crazy. Well, hang in there. Yeah. Um, if that doesn't work out for you, I seriously might sign you up for next season's Golden Bachelor. Oh, no way. Oh, my God. You'd be so good. Would, would you not do it? Have you ever thought about doing it? You know. Yeah, you know, but I'm looking at the girl right now and she's so just gentle. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know what I mean? And And so... I don't dainty and all that. And I'm just me, you know, <laughs> that's what makes it even better. I don't know. Are <laughs> you, you, I mean, you've seen the guys on there though. I'm sure there's some that you're like, Oh yeah, we would be compatible. Yeah. There's some really funny guys on there. Who's the guy that he gave the house tour and he was like, he's a ham. I forget where he's from. Yeah. He probably won't win, but he he's a ham. You're a ham. Yeah. <laughs> he might be the next one. All right. Well, go ahead. Do it. And we'll see what happens. How about it? I wonder the ABC affiliation, if that's will help or hurt. <laughs> no, don't even bring that up. OK. OK. <laughs> bye. It was a long time ago. Long time ago. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So looking for love in all the wrong places, apparently. That's me. Meanwhile, I'm stuck down here in my basement. <laughs> to Alexa. <laughs> I'm telling you, Alexa, you get, I would be shocked if you didn't get casted. Maybe that's overconfident of me, but I think there's they, a million people. You would have some crazy screen time. I I don't know. Like to do, song and dance. <laughs> do my munchkin impersonations, my Reba McIntyre. <laughs> Your peg. My peg. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm oh, sure. God, we gotta get you on there. I think we just explained why I'm still single. All of it in one <laughs> conversation. Anyway, oh all right. So um, in the news this past week, we should touch on a little pop culture because it's been a hot minute since we've done this. Um, P. Diddy, what is happening? It is nuts. Can you hear Palmer barking in our yard? Not at all. No. Nope. Some guys decided to start a garden in our back communal area mm-hmm. and she goes nuts. This is like an every night occurrence. Or maybe she likes um, vegetables more than you knew. Yeah. Anyways. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. I think there are going to be people coming out of the woodwork about this P. Diddy case. Do you see he got denied $50 million bail? Yeah, because they do think that he'll be influenced. Oh, he's a lifer. He's on suicide watch, I just saw, which for anybody, of course, is horrible. But I think the stories that are going to come out are dark, dark, dark. The backstory is he may have been involved in sex trafficking, racketeering, you name it. Many bad things. Um, but what's really crazy is there's lots of speculation. Of course, this is all just alleged that he groomed Justin Bieber. Groomed isn't probably the right word, but manipulated, brought him under his wing when Justin Bieber was only like 13 through Usher. To get you have to look it all up. Like there's crazy from, like child pornography stuff. No, I who knows? I don't think so. I think Justin Bieber was obviously some young kid from Canada trying to make it on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Usher discovered Justin Bieber. Usher had lived with P. Diddy when he was only, I think, in his teens, like 13 years old. Oh. They shipped him to Usher's house to record and to see the lifestyle and whatever. And there's an interview of Usher saying, This is alleged. Well, no, this this part this part's true okay. is I think it was a Howard Stern interview or something with Usher mm-hmm. and Usher said like there was a time when they're all partying and he's seeing crazy stuff that he shouldn't have seen as like a teenage boy. And finally, mm-hmm. he like told P. Diddy, like, I'm here to sing and record. Mm-hmm. Like, why am I not in the recording? Like, just 
weird stuff. And so they think that Justin Bieber was at like a lot of P Diddy's parties and in that circle. And he went through a dark time and now is out of it. Like obviously with Haley Bieber and his new baby, baby. but there was a time like right around, I think after they got married or right before when that. Justin Bieber was really vocal about like trying to rid his demons and how he's yeah. in this huge healing process. Hmm. Um, you got to look it up. There's some crazy vi- like video of P Diddy hugging Justin Bieber. And he's like, it looks like he's patting him down for like wires oh. during that time. Like they had, they had met up who knows. I don't know. There's a lot going on. So I love Justin Bieber. He was my first true love. And so I hope he comes out on the other side of this and has some peace that this man is locked up for good. You have a little piece of his sweat, even. I do. You got to talk about that. The greatest <laughs> ever. That is, I, I forget about that. I had, it's in one of my storage bins, went to Justin Bieber's concert. He did, he used to get in that like flyover thing, age thing or something. Right? And props to my mama. Somehow we had floor seats. I mean, <laughs> this was like a dream come true. You should have seen my bedroom wall. It was all Justin Bieber <laughs> right, right. posters. So he does the flyover, throws his sweat towel, and the girl next to me catches it. And me, I'm only, I mean, I'm in middle school. I'm probably like 12. What a savvy businesswoman. I turned to the girl and I had $20 that my mama gave me. And I said, (laughs) I'll give you this $20 bill if you'll rip me off a piece of that. (laughs) She took her teeth, ripped the towel and handed it to me. And I still have that till this day. I love that. What a sucker. <laughs> I would have said, take it. Had you known, it might have P. Diddy DNA all over it. Oh, God, I hope not. That's horrible. <laughs> but I, he was sick at the time, and I got oh, a little cold right. after. Oh. I said, I, it's Justin Bieber's cold, <laughs> for sure. Not all the thousands of people I was surrounded by yeah, during that concert. Anything, anything to do with that. And I still have that. If anybody knows where I can sell it, let me know. Huh. You know what's... Well, we're talking about celebrities and this is everywhere. And believe me, we are never going to go down the politics lane because, oh, I can't Mm. stand it. Cannot stand it. But the thing I'm curious about, because more and more celebrities on both sides are coming out and endorsing candidates on both sides. Um, Does that matter? Does it matter to um, especially younger people? Like um, I saw some. Well, Taylor Swift, big time. Yeah, well, she at least got people to go and look about on the website. I forget how many was it? 350,000 people went to the voting websites to see about signing up to vote. Wow. But, but will they Because follow? she put it on her Instagram that she endorses Kamala. Right. Did you see that? Yeah. And, yeah. and you know, sure, it's going to generate some following. Um, but do they follow through? I guess is the big thing, right? I- initially it is, I guess, if you've got your, your people right. that do love you and follow you, they, they may be intrigued. They may go through half of it, but do they show up? I don't know. And then vice versa. Um, when you see a politician, like I can even say about George Clooney, I, I love me some George Clooney, but I don't really care what George Clooney's politics are. Right. You know? But, and if there were other celebrities too, I don't know that I would care that much, but then you look at, okay, celebrities endorse products all the time. And that does work. Celebrity endorsements do sell products. Mm -hmm. So is this no different than selling a product? I don't know. Um, yeah, that's a good comparison. I think it definitely has influence. And I think, especially with maybe people who aren't educated on the topic and they just idolize this person. And so that's the reassurance that they need that that is who they should vote for. It'll be interesting. Yeah. I think people who aren't educating themselves are definitely more influenced. Right. And it's also like, I don't know, is it similar to like exposure marketing where people are so over marketing a product that you're familiar with that name type of thing? I don't know. Does that make any sense? No, I I totally get that. Yeah. Well, have you seen all the gossip too, that they think campaigns are paying these big celebrities and influencers to To come out and say, yeah, that they're endorsing them. Like 
but to the tune of millions. But Taylor Swift doesn't need even a dollar. No, and she's <laughs> she's always been very vocal about being anti-Trump. Oh, that's true. Um, I think in her documentary, even yeah. she was pretty vocal about it. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, there's a lot of concern too. They put their neck out there like that, you know, on both sides, right? And people that are not all there try to hurt them. So that's mm-hmm. the other scary part. Do they want to go that far? Is it worth right. it? You know, right. like climate. I don't know. Um, yeah. I don't know. It's just, I think we need to go back to the days of powdered wigs. <laughs> and, you know, when we could just poo in the streets. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's when politics was simple. We knew who we were electing. <laughs> Your neighbor, Joe. <laughs> Joe. Joe in his powdered wig, me and mine, <laughs> taking a squat in the middle of the street. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's when that politics matter. Anyway. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So one one more crazy thing before we let you all go. Okay. Um, and you're saying, thank God, one more, get it over with. <laughs> um, so <laughs> did you see where Costco in L.A. is building apartment units, no. 800 apartment units above a Costco in Los Angeles. <laughs> Are they truly, they're owned by Costco? Like they're it's owned by Costco. They get a discount or something through their membership. Who knows? They'll never run out of toilet paper. That's for doggone sure. But that is crazy. I wonder if they're nice. Can you find like images of them? I saw the images, but I think these are proto, you know, more just kind computer of computer generated. generated. Yeah. So that's I crazy. Imagine, first of all, a lot of people live in city dwellings and, you know, right. fine with that kind of hustle and bustle. Well, but yeah. I wouldn't choose to live above a Costco. I can't imagine just the parking the constant, lot. Yeah, the constant uh, yeah. craziness. But you're right. If you're cooking and you forgot an onion, like how convenient. Oh, yeah. But you have to get a whole pallet of onions. You can't just get one onion. <laughs> That's true. You can't fit them in your little apartment. No. <laughs> I mean, you're going to be sleeping on a bed of paper towel. <laughs> you go to your 800 friends that are now your new neighbors and you go, I need toilet paper. Anybody else? Let's just get one. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's the smart move. Yeah. That's crazy. But yeah. it reminds me a little bit like in downtown Columbus, when I was graduating, they had just built apartment units over a Target. It's, I mean, similar, yeah, but right. you don't have the whole parking lot hustle bustle gas station outside of the costco that's a, that's a different ball game there's a whole new ball game yeah um, that's craziness what uh, can't they do there's gonna be i bet like a costco airline pretty soon oh wow that's not a bad idea <laughs> you want to trademark that or do something just mm-hmm. in case they've never thought of it <laughs> we should <laughs> anyway well let's do our clink Thanks, everybody, for indulging us in the little tour and the fact that we're back together again. It Yay. Reunited and it feels so good. And uh, let's as long do- as this video saves where you need it to save and your audio transfers you trip over it. another wire and the dogs don't chew through a wire. And oh, my God. Lordy, Lordy. All right. Let's do a little clink and then we'll give clink love to everybody. Clink. And our wonderful sponsors, they're here. Make sure that you uh, check them out because they are super great people and they continue to support us. And we appreciate that so much. Have a wonderful week. I'll see you on the next fake dating app. (laughs) (laughs) Someone set her up, please. The old fashioned way. The old fashioned way. Maybe Joe's single. (laughs) Joe. Neighbor Joe in his powdered wig. Oh, in his wig. Yeah. All right. Love you. Love you.